and they're very comfortable in. Something they normally tend to do in a series where they are a game up and they want to just give it a shot and uh, see if they can just absolutely walk away with the game. And we're going to see here both of the runes uh, being slightly contended. We'll see a bit more space down on the bottom for uh, the Drown to grab a free run. Top, we'll see if anyone catches anyone. Well, they've got a crush onto Pilar Dying. Na'Vi moving in. They're going to find it. First Flood for Dendi as they take down Pi on the Witch Doctor. Oh, well, towards the mid lane as well, we are going to see coming in towards the top. Oh, with the shackle, Dendi. Uh, it's just playing. I'm going to have TPs in. Maybe they could try and find something. Yeah, Snake coming in, giving Denny the boost to General Slytherin in, ready to close down the gap. Arteezy, oh, he's gone. This is the Navi synergy we saw last game. They give up an IO kill to the tower, which gives some split gold to Secret, but Denny... And harassment. I love how fast plays, art style plays. He spends a couple minutes being very annoying, zoning uh, the enemy junglers, and then he immediately goes, grabs two creeps, and he's on the move to gank mid lane. Yeah. And I'll look at this again. Dendi setting up with a shackle. And as you wrap around, indeed, as you were saying, RTZ, he will get the turret off. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save him as Dendi and Artstar. One more touch from the edge will do it. And another kill onto the Kunkra in the mid lane. It's not quite enough to get past the boars. I mean, again, the two heroes coming back in looking to Artstar. There's a TP across from Universe as well. They really want to do something about this enchantress in the jungle as well with the cast. They're certainly going to have a good shot at it. Maledict down. Axis flying through. He's going to be popped. Secret finally able to do something about the edge, but you know, Artstyle, he's already found himself the level 4. But uh, uh, is it going to be a similar playstyle to last game, where they look to constantly keep up the split and, and, and try and get that farm on their cores, or is this more role, you know, a draft oriented towards team fighting and well, uh, again in the mid lane. RTZ, oh, he will torrent around himself, but General walks out, walks back in, and again, the place so much hate. Yeah, let's see what he can do. But the crush it holds him back already. It's going to allow Dendi to get himself out of harm's way. In fact, they'll turn. They'll look for the shackle. Oh, they're going to get it. Oh, they are going to get it. And back in on oh, Dendi. The wall has been dropped here. But Dendi, he's got the back of us. And they've got Envy getting taken down. Dendi with the kill. I mean, the north. So it wasn't going to be a potential to find the pickoff. Mainly to, to try and catch out the IO. If he comes back out, he might find the curry on the retreat. Now, it looks like war. No, he doesn't actually quite get the touch off. And now they know where he is. Top lane, though, General's been ganked up and will go down to the first roar of the game. So Puppy gets level 6, throws out Jackie, so... And his rotation's being scattered. They, I, I love that Navi are so proactive with all the sentry wars. Look at this with a relocate straight away. Looking for Universe, they don't get the shackle. But that's going to mean that Universe will be able to escape the question, because Secret try and punish this one. Mako, yeah, he, he's going to get taken down. Walks into Envy. Envy will find one if they can find Denny as well. This will be huge for Secret. They'll get the cast. The torrent is on point as well. Follow through. Control is there. Denny gets a boat to the face. He'll turn around. Shackle up Artis. He might still be able to get himself out of this one, and he will. So Secret, even though they land the spells, it's not enough to control and take down the Windrage on Envy. That's a I mean, no, I guess... Is there liter <laughs> that's, that's literally a, a, a misclick. Maybe he wants to build one into Helm and one into Vlad's, and then they stack. <laughs> the ideas. <laughs> oh, well, that one onto Dendi, he's gone. Uh, secret, they're finding. Well, can they find themselves anything more here? They're surging RTZ forward. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower. He's still working on that one, Gods. I mean, you're the analyst. What's going on there? Radiance top tower. Come on, there must be something really smart that we just <laughs> can't. Regardless, though, he's still sitting, of course, second on the net worth, but. It's the mistake has uh, has been hidden. He's probably hoping that no one saw it. We did it, Gerard. Don't worry. Well, they're jumping in onto MV. They've got the amplify. They've got the damage. Well, if they bring Dendi, and they certainly have, and MV getting taken down. And I guess this is one of the strengths of just running the IO again. Stick. So now he's managed to at least create space for the greedy Beastmaster jungle, as well as the like the dark that can. Oh, the top with the relocate. They have caught Envy out. The amplifies down, and he's gone. He nearly, very close to taking down Seneca on his spot. Showing his flinks, but the rest of the team, the Darkseer Kunker, they've drafted much more towards team fighting. They're itemizing towards team fighting with the Crimson Guard on Puppy as well. One, oh, they've caught Envy again. again, straight up. He's trying to run. That's all he can do. He certainly can't hide, and this man. I mean, nothing less than a dead one is General. He's got a blink available. Jumps up. One more touch to the Clinks and he's gone. General and the boys finding yet another. Clinks' movement and find those kills. So Na'Vi going to find themselves another out of tower here. 
future uh, Dragonlance Yasha. I was going to look at the camera, he was maybe eyeing up jumping in, and he will. He's going to get punished here by the combination of spells from Artor. They're moving as well. The IO is not going to be enough to save the Slada. Now with the wall drop, this could be secret turning this one around. They're looking for Artor, but he's already got the heals up. Dichara trying to run away from Puppy. And see if they do manage to find a drought as well. They need this secret and they will get it. A second kill for secret there on the defense. So this time, but what seems to be the first time in this uh, whole series. Unable to relocate out an X target. So that's where I think Navi are going to have to adjust. Have their calls perhaps prioritize earlier BKBs just so they don't die to the X initiation. Uh, then the BKBs oh. act as the counter to it. The fan envy as well. The silence into the crush amplified. He melts. Deja vu all over again with... Poor Jackie. He is certainly falling, falling down the ranks, and as we can see now at a point where, you know, the Slard are pretty much on the same net worth level as this Kalinx at this point, and with the relocate top, the action is not stopping for Na'Vi. They'll jump in onto Puppy, he'll get the roll onto Seneco. The Crimson Guard doing a fair bit, and it might just keep a lot more with the combo from Secret. They're turning it here. They take down Seneco, they take down Dendi. We're just going to get anything more. It looks like General Teacher on our style will be able to escape. But we are seeing the Wombo from Secret can swing into the jungle. Puppy smoked up. The backup's there from Pi. We'll see what they can do. They have got a roar. No death ward at the moment. We'll see if they can try and burst down Arstar. Nonetheless, it's, uh, with the help of Artis, they certainly can. Death ward finally coming back off cooldown. Careful, and if they keep on losing Dyer's fights like this, so Envy working towards his death slate. He's going to find a lot of these Na'Vi heroes here. And with the sentry ward there, he knows he's safe. No? Whoa, relocate bottom though. Absolutely, because on the bottom lane, generally TP back earlier, got the jump in onto the puppy, and uh, Crimson Guard not going to save you this time. Seneco, just don't, I don't, don't think bring Denny back yet. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, this man does uh, not get out of this one. The four members of Secret sticking around to watch the ball get beaten down. I am Scepter. Slider has the flink force. They can go, for, they're going to try to find some pickups. I like the idea of like trying to initiate, get a pick off, and then. No, Secret aren't going to look to try and teamfight if they've yeah. already lost. And, and this is good as well, because Suneko, he is ready to bring Dendi in, and he will. Just to make sure they've got the damage to deal with RTZ Universe. They're able to vacuum the wall. RTZ is already dead. He does get the bow down. It's not going to connect. There'll be a roar from Puppy coming out as well. Suneko trying to get himself out with the urn as well, but MV is there to close them off. We'll take down the IO. It's a one-for-one -one trade at the moment now. MV looking for the chase down onto Dendi. Yeah, it's nice. Not going to be a kill that he's getting. Dendi blinks out. Keeps himself alive, so just a one for one. But again, Seneca giving his life. They get the kill onto Arteezy. Walls also drop for that from Secret. So Na'Vi will be happy, and they're not done. They're looking for more. Jumping straight in onto Pi with the crush. General needs a bit more backup, and it is on its way. Then he's there, throws out the shackle, goes set. It doesn't matter. They'll just wait it out. He's been silenced up. No escape for the Wiz Doctors. Arsenal sits on the sideline, chucked in the impetus. Well, he drops in the vacuum. Envy starts revealing himself, looking for art style, but they just turn Pound back into the clinks. All three keeping Envy alive. Envy still goes down to the middle of the box there from the Lightning. So they do find him. Dichara, he goes down, but he had the Aegis. He's back. Ayo. Uh, so many of these fights, he's just getting right clicked down by the clinks as well as other heroes, and having a Ghost Scepter can really make his life a lot easier. Roshan not quite up yet, and uh, General tries to link it onto Puppy, but Puppy's reactions are on point, and MV from the high ground, he's actually trying to fight into this one, but there's a hell of a lot of NRV here, and MV's gone, the vacuum wall will be dropped on Seneco, and then he just walk it off, art style as well, stopping Puppy from being able to follow up, and MV just caught out of place, and secret, they've got to be careful, and make sure that this doesn't get any messier, as they're just on the retreat at the moment, Dendi, he's going to find Pi as well, and I hate to say it, but this feels very reminiscent of some of the fights we saw Secret try and take in game one. And this is the cheese as well. Cheese on Dendi, Aegis on Dichara. Shadowblade now picked up from General. So, uh, a lot of big things coming out. And yeah, with that, they've caught out RTZ. In the oh, that damage. It's... Right, so you're not actually that worried about your opponents having Aegis. Look at the smoke up for Na'Vi, they might just catch out Envy again. Envy's coming around, did they get vision? No, generally he's already got eyes onto Arteezy. He's gonna go in straight for a crush, right in front of Secret. The Shackle Shot will be there, the Greaves and the Crimson Guard coming out now with a vacuum. Trying to slow down the aggression of Na'Vi, but then he pops the BKB, continues to try and report onto Arteezy. He's not gonna find it, they just turn towards Envy, take down the Glinks instead. And now with the Impetus, flying for onto Pilot Dive, forcing him back. Na'Vi now getting the space to move up onto the Tier 3. With Envy dead for a minute, I mean, do you just let this go, or, or may, may we see him buy back here? Next vacuum, they, they've got vacuum in five seconds, which is when they may reinitiate. But it seems like they are going to at least let the T3 go down. Oh, now onto the racks, and of course the pushing power from Na'Vi. 
incredibly strong. And try not to ask for general on the back line. Jump straight onto pilot there. They should back him all onto two. But the follow-up just isn't there for the time being. Art style, he'll survive through it. They'll take down the melee racks. Not easy to get looking for the tower and follow through. General and Artstyle being held close together there by the paralyzing cars. Got easy coming forward. Then comes himself back out. General will get taken down by the Death Lord Pi. Is the Ghost Scepter out in time? They're going to continue to chase this one, Narvi. They should find it and they will. A double kill for Dendi. As his Wind Ranger performance is just ripping through the side. And now a second set of set of ranks going down. Puppy comes forward. Did you get the BKB off? And now he just turns, pushes Puppy back with the gun. Puppy's gonna get taken down as well. It's a triple kill for Dendi. Two dead on Secret now without buyback. This is looking to be potentially the end of the road here for Secret in this first series. They will be knocked down to the lower stages of this GSL format of the groups. And there we have it. GG is called. Dendi gets a rampage. And what a fitting way I mean, what? Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dendi this game on his Wim Ranger. I, I, I really feel that at the moment in the scene, he's one of the, Wim, the players that can still bring Wim Ranger back to where she used to be. You know, there was that, that kind of meta where Wim Ranger would destroy games. Navi sh uh, and Dendi showing that it still can be there. But again, I just feel you can't really just talk about a single, single person's performance on Navi because it's just the team as a whole. It's